Hello and welcome to Trade of the Week on Monday the 17th of July 2023. At the end of June we went short the Nasdaq 100 because we had several indicators, technical indicators, telling us that uh, the market was perhaps due for a correction and these were the CNN Fear and Greed Index which had been trading for several weeks in extreme greed territory which is often uh, a contrary indicator basically and that came at a time where the volatility index the VIX was also trading at pre-pandemic levels so basically showing complacency in the market and at a time where also the CBOE put core ratio was at extreme low levels and all of that led me to believe that perhaps we could see a correction in the Nasdaq 100 but if we look at the daily financial bet we can see that uh, yes we did come off slightly having not been stopped out we had a stop in place just above the June high here and we did slide back but in the end on the back of much weaker than expected US inflation data out of the US last week um, the uh, risk on sentiment that then followed pushed the Nasdaq 100 up to multi-month highs and stopped us out so we did get stopped out just above the June highs here on this uh, bearish Nasdaq 100 trade. We also got stopped out on a Another trade which was to go short copper last week and we did so as we expected copper to come off again um, simply because it failed at the 200 day simply moving average and it looked as if we were having another down lay after the previous down rate we saw since the end of June but instead on that weaker than expected US inflation data the copper price rallied very sharply took it to $8,718 uh, per tonne so near a three months high and uh, basically we got stopped out here with a tight stop just above the 200 day simple moving average. But this brings me to uh, this week's trade of the week. I would actually like to still go short copper and do so on the back of this weaker than expected um, second quarter growth we've seen coming out of China. Uh, the economy there still is quite lackluster after the reopening of um, uh, China uh, after its very strict uh, COVID-19 um, shutting down the country basically just six months ago and on that weaker growth we also have probably less demand for commodities such as copper and that's why I think the copper price will continue to come off over the next few months um, and that's why I would like to go short copper. So uh, this week's uh, trade of the week is to go short copper on the bounce back though to have a little less risk and uh, do so around $8,590 per tonne with a stop loss above last week's high at $8,720 per tonne and a long term downside target at $7,590 per tonne. <laughs>